Hello, my classy people. My name is Wayne Bolden. I am back on the scene. I'm here with my wrecking machine. It is Wednesday evening. That's right. I'm fired up, as always. Hey, turn on your clothes captured. How many times? i got to tell you, we do a lot of work. Hey, if you're watching this video, it's your first time seeing us. We have a bunch of fun. They think we're handicappers, but we're just having a bunch of fun. We do pick a lot of winners. But by the way, please subscribe, ring the bell, do the things you do to support your speed king. Saturday night, under the lights. We're at Barnes, Kentucky, my favorite place. You know I'm a Kentucky boy. I love that racing out there. We're going to be taking a look at the Queen Stakes at beautiful Turfway Park. On Saturday night, under the light, it's for four-year-olds and up, fillies and mares. It is a field of seven going six panels for $100,000 guaranteed on the synthetic. But before we do, as always, please, if you need to get a hold of us for any reason to buy our tip sheet, you want a classy Speed King shirt, or you just want to chit-chat with your Speed King, speedking24 at yahoo.com. Email me. I answer each and every one of them. And, of course, comment, like us, and dig Diamond Ortiz in the background. is simply known as Toe Jam. I'm having a bunch of fun. A man shouldn't have this much fun. Let's dial right into the Queen Stakes. Six race, Saturday night under the lights. I'm there every Turfway night. Let's dive in. Mr. Ortiz, chill out for a minute. Well, the Queen Stakes, six race, Saturday night, under the lights. I love Turfway Park, right? Because anything goes, okay? It is the only track literally in North America where all horses got a chance. So you can make an excuse for anybody. And he's got a chance. And they played tremendously. But let's dive into the Queen Stakes. Let's not take long, Mr. Speed King. Well, the number one horse, Delta Gamma Cats. Delta Gamma Cats has 15 starts, five wins, six seconds, one, one third. Not bad by Vancouver. And I tell you, Mr. West is our trainer of record. Now, the number one horse, Delta Gamma Cat, I mean, not a bad four-year-old uh, filly by Vancouver, but she appears to be overmatched. Now, she did come running late last time, so if you want to use her underneath in the tries, I don't think she's a win threat in this spot. But who knows at Turfway, right? Um, I'm going to throw Delta Gamma Cat off the ticket. I don't like her in this spot. Well, the number two horse, Windward Flow. Windward Flow is a very, very young four-year-old filly with only three starts. But here's the thing about the number two, Windward Flow. She has three starts, but she, two of them are wins and one second. So she's never finished worse than second in a small sample of three starts. And she is by Verrazano. So let me see you speaking community people shake a stick at Windward Flow. She's never done anything wrong. You know, um, she's riding a two-game winning streak. Wallace is our trainer of record. Uh, you know, again, I don't particularly like her in this spot. I think her speed figures are a cut below here. We have some graded animals in this race. So, I mean, if Windward Flow is to beat these horses, she was going to have to step up big time. And she's light on experience. So I don't think she's going to be able to ever beat these horses right here, right now, with only three starts under her belt. So we're going to throw the number two Wind, uh, Windward Flow off the ticket. She's never done nothing wrong, though. If you make a case for her, I mean, God bless you. But just make sure you get fair odds because that inexperience that she has against some of these in here, she's going to have to really, really improve. I'm going to throw the number two, Windward Flow, off the ticket. Well, the number three horse, Princess Causeway. Here's the horse that I like and will be my number one pick. That's right, the number three horse, Princess Causeway. 21 starts, six wins, two seconds, and two thirds. We, uh, Ian Wilkes is the trainer of record. He'll be calling all the shots from the trainer's booth. And of course, we got Chris Landeros. I told you once, I told you twice. I believe Chris Landeros and uh, Talamo, that's Joe Talamo, are the most underrated jocks in the country. Those two guys, they can flat out ride. And of course, they don't get the acclaim that I believe that they should. 
okay? And again, Chris Landeros is a tremendous rider, y'all, and he'll light the board up on you. And I think him sitting on top of Ian Wilkes' horse, who he rides for, uh, this giant Causeway horse, Princess Causeway, is coming off of a very, very nice race. It was a fast pace on the 29th of January in a stake race overnight, the Wishing Well Stakes, and ran third behind Lady Edith. We all know Lady Edith. So again, the horse is returning now off of a 43-day freshening. And you know how I like four to six weeks rest. So I believe the number three, Princess Causeway, is sitting on a go-go, y'all. Okay, I think Mr. Wilkes and Mr. Landeros could get it done here in a big, big way. The number three, Princess Causeway, will be my top pick. I like that horse in this spot. The number four, Thundering Creed. Well, of course, this horse is by Jimmy Creed, the number four. Thundering Creed. Eight starts, three wins. You can't shake no stick at that speed, King Community. One second and one third for $173,000. And uh, Tomlinson is our trainer of record doing all the conditioning around here. And Rocco Jr. is in the arms. A horse is by Jimmy Creed. And you know I love Casa Creed. And it's the same sire. But I'm going to tell you right now, the number four Thundering Creed is overmatched. Speed figures are horrible. The horse really has never done nothing wrong. Just like the number two, Windward Flow. But again, a little light on experience. These are some heavy hidden fillies in here. So I'm going to throw number four, Thunder and Creed, off the ticket. As always, she is right the two-game winning streak. If you want to use her underneath and it's a big price to complete your trier or exacta, I'm not mad at you. But I don't think the number four, Thunder and Creed, is a win uh, contender in this spot. Please agree with me. If not, bet your earned money and then you'll see she's not a win contender. The number five horse, well, Caravel. Caravel is a very, very, very nice horse and probably is going to be the favorite here. The number five Caravel has 12 starts and seven wins. No, you didn't just say it. I said the horse is north of 50%. In, in her wins. This five-year-old mare by missing mast, uh-oh, trained by that man mama who Brad Cox and all his merry horses. So the number five Caravelle is a merry horse, a big head horse, one of Brad Cox's big head horses, right? And when I say big head horses, I'm not poking at Brad. I'm just saying his horses are very, very good. These are horses that, they, you know what, they got big heads. They run, right? And Caravelle is no different. And all you have to do is look at the record to see that. Seven wins from 12 starts, please. Okay, by missing mass, five-year-old for 400,000, three-thirds, please. Okay, and guess who's in the yard down at Turfway? Gerard Corrales, right? So, again, top jock down there. He pulled Brad Cock. They mean business. So, obviously, the number five, Caravelle, is very, very talented, making her five-year-old debut. She last ran November 6th in the Breeders' Cup turf sprint. What else is new? On the grass, she ran 12th by 9th behind Golden Pal. That's Wesley's Ward, big head horse. And, of course, this horse... Caravelle has run in nothing but grade one, grade two, grade three. Now, if I had the knocker, they're all on the grass. But these are overnight stake horses, and again, she should be able to handle these. It's clear in my mind that off of a 133-day rest, making her five-year-old debut, the number five, Caravelle, Brad Cox, and all his merry horses with Corrales up, is going to take a bunch of money, and rightly so. Okay, she has black type all throughout there. Her speed figures are okay. You know, put her surely in the body of this race. And again, she's probably going to return running, right? Okay, so again, you don't need me to give you Brad Cox's horses. He places them where they can win. And obviously, the number five, Caravel, is a win contender. Not going to be my top pick, but surely it'll be my second or third pick for sure. The number six horse in here, Club Car. Here's a very, very nice six-year-old mare by Malibu Moon. And Callbrook is our trainer with Kamara. That's right, the Canadian driver who came down from Woodbine to ride at uh, Turfway. Well, Club Car, the number six, has 23 starts, five wins, and nine seconds. No, you didn't just say that the Club Car run nine times second. 
Well, she's a bridemaid. Yeah, she got beautiful speed figures. Returning off of 128 days, something like that layoff. So, you know, she's run on a dirt. I don't know if she's ever been on a synthetic. Let me see here. She's been on a synthetic once or twice. And she ran decently. So, really, turf, dirt and synthetic, they translate if the horses are pretty good. And... You know, Club Card, the number six, is a fairly decent horse, okay? Just likes to run second a whole bunch. She'll be my third pick in here for sure. And the last horse, Bossy Mama. Well, we've heard a lot of black Bossy Mamas around here. The number seven horse has four starts and two wins and one third. No, you didn't say it. Yeah, she's lightly raced the number seven, Bossy Mama. You know, just like Windward Flow, you know, lightly raced. Nice horse, though, by Street Boss. Maury, right? The hot, hot. Will Mori at 23%. With Bayo Rano in the orange, you better pay attention. But I don't like Bossy Mama here. You know, I know she's by Street Boss, who I like. And again, you know, her speed figures are light. But this is the first time that Mori has this horse, okay, coming out. You know, Jeff Bondi had this horse out there at Golden Gate. So, again, the horse was riding a two-game winning streak, making her four-year-old debut. Maybe we want to take a, a peek at the number seven horse, first time William Morey across the synthetic. Of course, Golden Gate racetrack is synthetic. This horse went gate to wire twice in a row. And, of course, this horse is going to be on my ticket, of course. Why? Because speed is what? King and has always been what? King. So we like Bossy Mama here making her four-year-old debut. Has won 50% of her races four, uh, two out of four. And William Morey is just flat out hot. And any time you can get Raphael Bear Rattle on top of your horse, you better pay attention. So Bossy Mama, we like a whole bunch in here. We think speed is king, has always been king. So there is your seven horses in the overnight stake race. That's right, the queen stake race. And you say, well, tell us what it's going to be, Mr. Speed King. Well, I'm going to stay with tradition as always. I'm going to take the speed. What else is new? I'm going to go ahead and say Bossy Mama can flat out go gate to wire here. I'm going to use the speed as my top pick for sure. And my second pick is going to be the number three horse, uh, Princess Causeway. I like that horse a whole bunch here. And I think she's going to run well. And then, of course, I have to take the big head horse, Brad Cox with Caravelle. The number five horse as my third pick, who is probably the horse to beat here. So what is it going to be? It's going to be the speed. Put my horse on. On the engine. Give me the keys to the engine with that bossy, bossy mama. Right? The number seven horse with Bayorano up is our top pick. Our second pick is going to be the number three horse with Ian Wilkes and Chris Landaros, Princess Causeway, and the number five, Carol Vell. Big head, uh, Cox, and all his merry horses. So it's 735 for us in the Queen Stakes Saturday night under the lights. We're at at beautiful Florence Park, Kentucky. As always, folks, email us at Speed King. I'm going to leave you with a little funk. Yes, Speed King is fired up. As always, folks, my uh, email address is speedking24 at yahoo.com. As always, please subscribe, ring the bell. We have a bunch of fun. We got classy, classy listeners. They make me look better than I actually am, but you can't mistake it, the information that they bring to the platform. I am so proud of them, and this is why I do it endlessly. Why? For the love of the game. Stay classy, y'all. Talk to y'all real soon. That's right. It's going to be 735. In the Queen's Stakes, speed is what? King, for sure.